Abstract.com here, and today we're taking a look at Mind Feud. This is a pretty mind-boggling game for the iPhone. It's fantastic, and you should definitely go ahead and check it out because it is free. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at how to actually play this game. This is going to be the first screen that you see. It's likely going to be empty, and it's likely going to present you with a tutorial. So you could go ahead and enter the tutorial from here manually. I'm not going to go through the whole tutorial, but it's actually very good and it explains the rules exactly as you would expect. Um, after completing the tutorial, you will know exactly what's going on. You will be able to play the game on your own, unlike some tutorials that don't really tell you anything about anything really. This one's really good, so we're going to go ahead and jump out because I'm going to explain how to play the game. Um, I have two games open here. This is a new game with the computer. Uh, the computer name is Adama or however you say that, that's how I say it. Um, one is actually started and the other one isn't started yet. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the one that I have started before. Um, as you can see, we have gone through some moves over here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to place your playing pieces, these ones over here, you could drag and drop them onto the playing screen. Uh, in a particular order. Now, you could zoom in by double tapping. As you can see, the idea is to form a line. Your move will consist of forming a line and only a line. You cannot um, put pieces, say, like this in a triangle shape. They all have to be in one line. And the pieces have to either match a color in a line or they have to match the shape. So as you can see here, the colors don't match but the shape does. Somewhere like here, the shapes don't match, but the color matches. Now the trick here is you can't place a piece that already exists in that particular line. So you could take a look at this line and you would say, well, it's purple. I could place this purple piece at the end here. And uh, that would be perfectly valid if this circle wasn't here already. But it is, so if we go ahead and tap on the um, make a move button, which is down here in the left, it's going to tell you that you already have a symbol there and you cannot play it. So it could actually get pretty challenging. Um, sometimes it takes a little while to find a move that you could even make. So I'm going to go ahead and browse to see if I could make any moves here. So again, I would think you could place that there, but there's already a clover over here, so you can't do that. So to make it a little bit more interesting, we're going to go ahead and start a new game. I'm going to show you how that's done. So the first move always has to be started in the center, so we could go ahead and place some stars here. Just like that, and go ahead and activate that. And that's worth three points because there's three uh, pieces there. He got four points for this line and three points for this line. So he got seven points. Now if you take a look at these blue squares those will triple your points for that particular line and the purple will double the points. So we could go ahead and do a blue line like this so the color on this line matches blue, and color on this line matches blue. And we should get, uh, I believe, four points for, maybe five, I'm not sure, we'll see. So four points for that line, and four points for this line. So that was pretty good. So what you want to do is you want to take advantage of these uh, squares that double your points because that's the most efficient way to get score. So here we have shapes matching and we could actually match the shapes in both directions. As you can see the colors don't match but the shapes do. So that will be perfectly valid. Maybe not. Oh we have two green triangles here so we can't do that. So we could actually swap these triangles and that would be perfectly valid. So as you can see, I got triple the score. I'm actually doing quite well in this game. Last game, not so, not so much. 
So there you go, that's uh, the basic rules. Very cool, very fun. Um, pretty mind-boggling as you start playing. Um, you have several options as to who you could play with. You could go ahead and play with the computer called Adama. You could challenge a random opponent, or you could challenge a friend. You just have to know their uh, username or whatever the email address is. Or you could search for players uh, via the email address or their username. And of course you could challenge on Facebook. And the cool thing about this is, if you've played Draw Something, you know that uh, your turn isn't actually live, it's being recorded, and then the person playing with you gets to view it on their own time whenever they want to. This is exactly the same sort of idea, so uh, you could take a day to make a move, or you could take a second to make a move, it really doesn't matter. Um, so that's pretty convenient because you don't have to sit there for hours, although you probably will if you get this game. So there you go, this is Mind Feud for iPhone. Pretty epic game, go ahead and check it out on the App Store.